The entrance of your home is its signature. It's the perfect place to make a statement or express your personal style. Whether you're looking to replace your door glass or add glass to an existing door, our styles can add curb appeal and lasting value. Our handcrafted door glass can also brighten your entryway without compromising your privacy. Explore your door stylizer at ODL.com. It's designed to help you visualize how our wide range of entryway glass styles and options will appear in your home. Are you ready to make a statement? Continue watching and see how easy it is to dramatically change the entrance of your home just by adding or increasing the size of your entryway glass. You'll need a few basic tools to add door glass. Start by being safe. Always wear safety glasses and gloves. And please, don't go it alone. Adding glass is a two-person job. Adding new door glass sometimes means increasing the size of your existing door glass. Other times, it means adding glass to a flush or panel door. Before adding door glass, be sure your door is one and three quarters inches thick and made of steel or fiberglass. Adding new glass. If you're cutting a door without existing door glass, your new opening should be one inch more in both width and height than your ODL replacement glass dimensions. For specific measuring instructions, please see our Qualifying Your Door video. Next, remove the doorknob or handle and any lock sets and carefully set them aside until after the door glass is installed. Remove the door from the hinges and carefully lay it across your saw horses. Position saw horses with a drop cloth draped over them to catch all debris and protect your door from scratches. Measure the embossments on the door for both width and height. Use your pencil and straight edge to indicate the cutting area on the inside of the door. Apply blue painter's tape along the outside edges of your cutout area. The tape will act as a guide for cutting the hole and protect the finish of your door while cutting. Using a 3 8 inch bit, drill starter holes for each corner of the new opening. Now you're ready to cut the door glass opening. Determine the proper blade size for your jigsaw. The saw blade should not protrude when at its downstroke and should not come out of the door during its upstroke. Using the starter hole, insert the jigsaw with a short stroke blade into the inner core of the door and cut along marked guidelines from corner to corner. Because you'll be cutting through a material of different density near the lock, you will feel slightly more resistance. The newly cut edges of the door are sharp, so be sure to wear gloves. Carefully flip the door over and repeat the same steps. And make sure your cut lines are the same distance from the edge of the door. Next, remove all tape and debris as well as the cutout portion of the door. Now you are ready to install your new ODL door glass. Lift the door off of the sawhorses and lay down the outside door glass frame out over the sawhorses. To ensure the glass is correctly installed, the temper stamp should appear on the bottom of the door. Carefully lay the door over the door glass. To properly distribute the weight of the door glass, place the bottom edge of the door opening snugly to the bottom of the door glass. Place the interior frame with exposed screw holes over the inside of your door. Align the frames by matching the screw hole guides. Insert each screw working from side to side. Tighten firmly so that the frame fits snugly against the door and the seal is compressed. However, avoid over tightening the screws. Align the screw plugs with the frame profile. Insert and tap each one into place. Next, place the door back on its hinges. Finally, it's time to make your new door glass shine. Standard window cleaner will do the trick. Increasing your door glass area. It's also possible to increase the size of the door glass in your door. Just note that the width of the existing frame around your glass should be less than 23 inches wide and 65 inches high. For specific measuring instructions, please see our Qualifying Your Door video. First, find the screws on your existing frame. These are located on the inside of your door. You may need to remove old paint, putty, or caulk to get to the screw plugs that cover the screw heads. 
Use a drywall screw to remove screw hole plugs. Make sure you have a friend standing outside the door holding the frame as you loosen the screws. Completely remove all attachment screws and remove the inside frame. To remove the outside frame, use window cleaner to help release the caulk. You may also need to insert a putty knife between the frame and the door. Remove the doorknob or handle and any lock sets and carefully set them aside until after the door glass is installed. Position sawhorses with a drop cloth draped over them to catch all debris and protect your door from scratches. Then remove the door from the hinges and carefully lay it across your sawhorses. With your door glass now removed, extend your existing vertical measurements to your new vertical dimensions. Mark your vertical measurements from your top horizontal measurement. Make sure your cutting area is centered as well. Apply blue painter's tape along the outside edges of your cutout. The tape will act as a guide for cutting the hole as well as to protect the finish of your door. Now you're ready to cut the door glass opening. Determine the proper blade size for your jigsaw. The saw blade should not protrude when at its downstroke and should not come out of the door during its upstroke. Insert the jigsaw with a short stroke blade into the inner core of the door and cut along marked guidelines from corner to corner. Because you'll be cutting through a material of different density near the lock, you will feel slightly more resistance. The newly cut edges of the door are sharp, so be sure to wear gloves. Carefully flip the door over and repeat the same steps. And make sure your cut lines are the same distance from the edge of the door. Next, remove all tape and debris as well as the cutout portion of the door. You are now ready to install your new ODL door glass. Lift the door off of the sawhorses and lay the outside door glass frame out over the sawhorses. To ensure that the glass is installed correctly, the temper stamp should appear on the bottom of the door. Carefully lay the door down over the door glass. To properly distribute the weight of the door glass, place the bottom edge of the door opening snugly to the bottom of the door glass. The screw hole side of your frame should be installed on the inside of your door. Place the new frame into position by matching the screw hole guides. Insert each screw working from side to side. Tighten firmly so that the frame fits snugly against the door and the seal is compressed. However, avoid over tightening. Align the screw plugs with the frame profile. Insert and tap each one into place. Next, place the door back on its hinges. Finally, it's time to make your new door glass shine. Standard window cleaner will do the trick. If you still have questions, our experts are available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call us or visit ODL.com.